So we're going to do a, a Portuguese style chicken with a bit of a, a smoke at the outset and then we'll finish it in the char grill. So normally like Portuguese chicken just over the coals on the spit rotisserie. Um, but we'll do a bit different this time, we'll, we'll give it a bit of a smoke infusion and then we'll just finish it basically with the charcoal. So for Portuguese chicken, you just need to break his back. Um, we're just going to come down each side of the spine basically and uh, butterfly him out. Uh, we pull that out of there. Happy days. So you need a nice sharp knife or um, a cleaver and we just grab out a few of the little uh, rib bones in there. So essentially butterfly chicken on the pretty side uh, looks like that and then that just goes on the tray get some smoke up under it uh, lots and lots of flavor we're just going to lightly salt it so that will then just go on the smoker rack for about three hours so we're going to make up a portuguese kind of marinade but what we're going to do to start with is mash up some butter which is the carrier um, for this flavor and then we'll put in some garlic and other things as well. So we want about um, 50 grams of butter. Into there, we're gonna smash up some garlic. So we've got our garlic in there. They're gonna take our bay leaves and we're gonna crush these up um, as best we can, which gets us looking like that. Into here also goes um, about a third of a cup of scotch or a shot of scotch or whatever that measures out to be. We just want to put a little bit of sweetness in. Um, so we've got some maple syrup for that. Remember when you're cooking over charcoal or over smoke, um, those flavors will always dominate. So you want to add things like a bit of sweetness and a little bit of vinegar um, more than you would in say your home oven. The cooking, we're also going to chuck in just a splash of apple cider vinegar. We're just going to smash the butter up on the outside like so. Good. And then we just mix it in. It's not going to come out pure and clean, but it's going to give us a bit of a soupy, buttery, scotchy, sweet mix. And then what we'll do in a second is pull our chicken out, which is warm in the smoker. Chuck that in there. That'll help melt everything down. But at least we've started the point with those flavors. Now, if you've smoked chicken before, you know the skin goes a little bit rubbery. So the advantage of doing it this way, cooking it for about an hour and a half, two hours in the smoker, and then pulling it out, marinating it, and then char grilling it, is you get that uh, chicken skin fun back into it. So we butterflied the chicken, which means we took out the backbone. We're just gonna chop him down um, into bits now, basically, as you would if you were having chicken at a chicken shop. <laughs> so you'll see that chicken is basically cooked. Um, and the best part about smoking chicken is that sort of moisture content because low and slow is basically going to go into this uh, marinade nice and warm which as we said uh, with the butter it's going to help us melt all that down essentially letting it brine in butter and scotch and uh, those bay leaves and garlic and then we fry it off at the end it's going to be heaps of fun really exciting flavors Cool, so we'll let that marinate for a little bit and then at the end of our cook, um, we'll chuck it on the char grill. When you get nice juicy breast meat, white meat, you know you're onto a winner. Obviously a brown meat is always gonna be um, super, super yummy. Uh, which we've got that beautiful look. Remember when you smoke meat, it retains a nice colour, which is cool. That's it, really, really easy. Loads of flavour. That reaction of the fat and the charcoal is exactly what you want in your chicken.